Army Corps of Engineers releases more information about radioactive testing at Jana Elementary. And two unlikely political allies are joining forces. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live in Florida tonight with these two big developments, Jeff. That's right. It's been a difficult school year for the Jana Elementary community. The school shut down back in October. You can see the parking lot here remains empty while students attend classes at other schools in the district, all over concerns of radioactive waste from bomb-making materials from World War II. Parents of Jana students know just how difficult this school year has been. She cried when she found out through one of her friends on the bus that they now opened the school back up. So she's really hurt. The Army Corps of Engineers released a report Tuesday calling the school safe following additional testing. The Army Corps of Engineers continues to not be a health organization. Their mission has never been health focused. Jana's PTA president believes the testing threshold used by the Army Corps is not sufficient. For schools, for children, we deserve the best level of cleanup and the most safety. Our kids do not deserve to be exposed to radioactive waste. And if I were the Department of Energy, I would take that to heart and see that this community is fed up with holding on to their radioactive waste. On Tuesday, Representative Cory Bush introduced legislation to require testing at all Hazelwood School District properties and the cleanup of Jana, stating in part, parents and community members deserve to know that our children's learning environment is safe. Senator Josh Hawley has introduced similar legislation and plans on requesting unanimous passage Wednesday. He said in part, the entire Hazelwood community deserves more than another report. They need action. As for the future of Jana, the school district tells us there is no expectation that Jana Elementary will reopen. And the testing done here at Jana will be the subject of a technical forum tomorrow morning beginning at 8 a.m. at St. Louis University's uh, the College of Public Health and Social Justice. We'll have more information for you at Fox 2 Now. Reporting live from Florissant, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.